Hi there. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is show you how we go about finding a vector equation of a plane in parametric form which passes through three points, let's say A, B and C. Now three points define a plane in space. Okay, There's only one plane that will pass through any three points. And to appreciate this problem, what I would always encourage you to do is draw a sketch. Something like this, where you have your plane and you take your origin as a fixed point here. And then you don't need any coordinate axis to do problems like this. Just put your points A, B and C on the surface of the plane, anywhere you like. Okay, I've just put them in these positions. So I've got A with coordinates 3, minus 1, 5, B with coordinates 1, 2, 3, and C with coordinates minus 2, 4, minus 1. Now, if we're to find the position vector of any point on the plane given by R, let's say one of those many places could be, say, this point here. Let's just come up from the origin, up underneath the plane, to this point. Let's say P here. And its position vector is given by R. Then I'm assuming you're familiar with the parametric form for the vector equation of a plane. What we've got to do is take the position vector R and go to any point on the plane. Well, we've got a choice of three points, A, B or C. It really doesn't matter. Let's suppose I start from the point A on the plane. So if I go from the origin up to the point A on the plane, okay, then R would be equal to the vector O to A, that takes me up to the plane, plus, and then we have any amount in the direction of two vectors which are parallel to the plane, but are not parallel to one another. So I could take, for instance, the vector AC as one vector that is parallel to the plane, in fact is in the plane, so it doesn't matter. And I could take the vector AB as the other vector. And that would mean that the position vector R would be up onto the plane, O to A, plus any amount, which we'll call lambda, in the direction, say, of AC or AB. Let's start with AB. And then to this, it would be followed by any amount, let's say mu, in the direction of the vector AC. Now, that doesn't have to be the only possible version that we could have. We could have, for instance, that the position vector R equals up to some other point, let's say O to B. And then we could take any amount in the direction of these two vectors still. Okay, We don't have to start from B all the time. I could say O to B plus, let's say, alpha lots of A to B plus beta lots of the vector A to C. You don't have to take the vectors A to B, A to C all the time. You can take any point, so we could say O to C for instance, plus any amount, let's say S in say the direction B to C, okay, plus any amount, let's say T, in another direction, let's say B to A. It doesn't have to start always from B. We can go from A to C. All right, there we go. There's plenty of other different ways that you could form this equation. So these are possible solutions or possible equations. And I'm sure you could experiment, come up with plenty of others. Well, we've got to settle on one. So let's say we go for this equation here, OK? So if we use this version 1 here, we need to come up with the vectors a to b and a to c. So if I take the vector a to b, we should be able to go straight to the answer. 
it is essentially always O to the last letter, in this case B, minus O to the very first letter, which in this example is A. If you're unsure of this, it is just simply going from A to B, okay, it's A down to O, followed by, and then from O back to B. But O to B is this factor, and A to O is exactly the same as going in the opposite direction, O to A, so hence minus O to A. And then once we've got this, all we need to do, O to B as a position vector is going to be the vector 1, 2, 3. We can write it as a column vector, 1, 2, 3. And from this we need to subtract the column vector then O to A, which will be 3 minus 1, 5. And if we do this subtraction, we've got 1 minus 3, which is going to be minus 2. Okay, and then we've got 2 minus minus 1, which is 3, and then 3 minus 5, which is minus 2. So there's our vector A to B. We also need to get the other vector A to C. So I'm going to go straight for this one. A to C then is going to be O to the last letter, O to C minus O to the first letter A. And so again, if we write this out in column vector form, O to C is minus 2, 4, minus 1, minus 2, 4, minus 1. And then we've got minus O to A, which is going to be 3, minus 1, 5. And if we work this out, minus 2, minus 3, well that gives us minus 5. And then you've got 4 minus minus 1, which is 5. And minus 1 minus another 5 is going to be minus 6. Okay, so we've got the column vector then, minus 5, 5, minus 6. So, an equation for the plane, and I do say an equation because we've got all the possibilities that I've shown down through here. So we've got an equation of the plane is, and what's it going to be? Well, taking our version here then, it's going to be the position vector r of any point on the plane is equal to O to A, which is the column vector 3 minus 1, 5, 3 minus 1, 5, and then plus lambda in the direction AB, which is a column vector we've seen is minus 2, 3, minus 2, and then plus mu multiplied by the column vector AC, which is minus 5, 5, minus 6. All right.